back bitches with a new video. Okay, let's talk about Instagram and how to grow your Instagram. Something that I get asked about a lot. So let's delve into it and let me give you a few tips on what I think is the most important things that you should consider about when you're posting your artwork on Instagram. Let's get into it. A lot about um, a big, big question about how I am able to grow my social media. And I wanted to share with you a few thoughts and uh, a few tips that can hopefully kind of help you and steer you in, in the right direction. Because um, I, can, I understand completely that it's so competitive out there um, and there are so many different ways and tools and different methods and things like that out there that can be quite confusing. So I just want to start from the beginning and just explain a little bit about me firstly. So I started my Instagram page in 2017. Um, I feel like I started at a time when Instagram was um, in its growth phase and I was able to, and quite fortunately, I was able to uh, jump on the bandwagon at quite a good time. So I was just posting pictures of my work um, completed pieces mostly to kind of snapshots of me with like a, you know, a painting behind me using this as an, as an example. So something like that um, would be more than sufficient to attract likes and follows and enable me to kind of um, grow. So I, I was doing, uh, I was posting a lot of pictures uh, on a consistent basis um, until I would say around uh, two or three years ago. Um, so from 2017 to 2020, I think my Instagram grew from roughly uh, zero followers to around, I would say anywhere between 70 to 80,000 followers. So um, quite a good growth in what I would consider to be quite a short amount of time. And then at the moment, I think my current following is around 210,000, which is triple what it was back in, in 2020. So I think the big question is how have I been able to get from uh, 2020, uh, 70,000 to 2024, 210,000. I just want to explain what's happened um, in that time frame as well. Up to 2020, as I said, I was posting a lot of photos and then I kind of saw that the algorithm had changed a bit. And this is where Instagram is potentially flawed because it's almost become a little bit like TikTok. I noticed that now posting just photos wasn't enough and the, the requirement would be to, to post more reels and videos and things like that. So instead of posting final pieces, I would then post kind of quick clips of me in the studio or um, teaching someone a technique or showing someone how I'm making something or producing something or what materials I'm using or just that kind of thing, um, especially in, in my line of work as an artist, kind of what am I doing behind the scenes to actually get to that end product. I noticed that when I was posting the final final product, the likes weren't, weren't getting the, the same likes that they, they did before. So I guess you just have to roll with the times which is what I've done. So I think I'm now um, posting mostly reels on my account and almost completely ignoring, which sounds strange, but completely ignoring posting the final product, which is essentially what I want to sell. So it, it is kind of strange doing it like that. It's more about the process than the actual um, end product. So I guess what have I learned from that is that for the first thing is that the Instagram algorithm is constantly changing. So it's not about um, so much what you're producing, it's almost like how you're showcasing it. it because you've got to think about people who are on Instagram, they're, you know, like me myself, I'm just scrolling through and I've almost got a really small amount of time to consider whatever I'm posting before I lose interest and then flick on to something else. One of the things that I can, uh, or one of the bits of advice that I, I would give artists now on Instagram is firstly to be consistent. So what I mean is that it's very easy to get disheartened when things aren't going your way or your whatever you're posting isn't working or isn't attracting the right people 
or you're not seeing any more views or likes or and so on and so forth and I think that you have to be fairly thick skinned um, in especially in the art world because it's so competitive like it's 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 obviously only going to get uh, more competitive but right now there's an abundance of artists there's an abundance of artwork and so you need to think about what's going to make your product stand out so com competition is always going to be there so we need to think about how um, we can um, we can counteract that and the first thing I would say is to be consistent. So consistently posting content, keeping people engaged, uh, you know, pick certain times to uh, post, depending on, I think in the Instagram app, you can see what times are best for you to post. I tend to do um, certain times in the day that I think more people will be on their phone, which is quite a cool strategy and, and the one that's worked for me so far. So maybe think about posting three to five times a week and focus on quality rather than quantity because what I have found is that the reels that are getting more views are um, ones that I have spent more time on. So go for, go for quality over quantity. Um, so that's point number one, I would say be consistent. Um, tip number two, just going back to the first thing that I said was to post more videos and feel free to use that content and recycle it and use it for other social media platforms as well. So I use TikTok as well. Um, and I, I don't wanna spend time or wanna to have to spend time re-editing uh, videos again. So I found that just using the same clips that I have on Instagram and tra transferring it across to TikTok is the easiest way to do it and basically saves you time because no one wants to spend all their time filming. You need to think about how you can expand your reach. So how can you reach more people? One of the things that was really cool for me was that I was introduced to a few different celebrities, which was which is great because obviously they have a very notable following of people. And if you can get your work in front of certain people and you can yeah, expose your artwork to more people that's going to be amazing for you it's all a numbers game so at the end of the day the more people that see your artwork the more people may um, consider getting in contact with you so spend more of your time trying to get your artwork in front of people as opposed to painting in your studio but I would consider you know reaching out uh, depending on where you are to local businesses and try to get your work up in those places because People like nice things on their wall and equally you would much rather have your artwork up somewhere in front of people, exposed to people, um, than in your studio taking up space. Um, so yeah, the first thing I was saying is to be consistent. Uh, the second thing is to post videos. And the third thing is to try and get your artwork out in front of many as many people as possible. And what I said was to try and hang your artwork up in different places because it's a nice thing for you to do and also you know it helps you on Instagram because it introduces your work to other people and you can then um, hope to receive more followers as a result of it. And the fourth thing is you know as, as much as you can you can do these things there will be things that are out of your control so things that are out of your control like the, how the algorithm is constantly changing whether Instagram is feeling nice I, I have no idea how it all kind of works. It sounds really silly to say, but I could not pinpoint one specific thing and, and say, do this thing and your Instagram following will just grow. I think I've been lucky because I jumped on at a time when it was growing. So I felt, I feel like I experienced that growth um, early on and it's definitely stagnated now. So please, please don't be disheartened if you're not growing your Instagram or you're not getting more followers or more engagement or you know whatever more conversion into sales and stuff like that it's a long-term thing it, it won't happen overnight it certainly hasn't happened overnight for me but I think if you do those three things as an artist you're going to be giving yourself the best possible chance so yeah I, I hope that can help you guys and as I say these are just things that I do and you know, I'm by no means an expert at this. It's just something that I've done that I found to have helped. And if I can help you do the same, then um, hopefully this video has been worthwhile for you. 
there really is no right or wrong answer. It's just I've implemented those three kind of uh, core values to my work. And I think that uh, that has been able me to be in the right place at the right time so that when the algorithm is in my favor, I can, I can really benefit from it. So hopefully it's been helpful. If it has, please feel free to kind of leave me a comment and, and of course like and subscribe if you have liked this video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna try to keep keep going on on YouTube. I've been a bit on and off, but um, I, so I really like just sort of talking with you guys and showing things that you know I can't on Instagram because, as I say, it's just a short short clip. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll try to be posting more, and if I'm not, then yeah, you can tell me off. But um, yeah, just want to say a massive thanks, and I will see you very soon.